Linux is what you use when you hang outside schools and you don't work. I better not do that. Hi guys, welcome to this video that's going to teach you how to do some advanced and cool things that you can do in God Galaxy 2. Uh, it's still in beta by the way, so calm down. <laughs> Speaking of which, beta and calm down. There has been some comments in the previous video I thought I should maybe address for quickly. So stuff like a task manager, 115 megabytes, uh, ROM free says here in the comments. Uh, I don't know about that still. I think you just got unlucky there maybe. It doesn't seem like a lot of memory anyway, to be fair, in a task manager, especially not for gamers. Uh, also have another comment here from uh, Rat Poison Breakfast, what a name. Uh, saying uh, CD Projekt uh, says that the client is for all users and all platforms. Yeah, the client has no native Linux port. Very cool, guys. Uh, it's beta. Besides, who uses Linux anyway? Linux is Linux is what you use when you're wanted in like multiple states. Linux is what you use when you fiddle someone's lollipop without consent. No one uses Linux. Linux is what they use for servers. No one cares about Linux. Don't use Linux. Don't do that to yourself. Get help. Okay, moving on. This app will not allow you choice of install folder. It's very lame, very poor implementation. This is Galfkin for the win. In fact, Shadley really makes me wonder about all these high five praises I'm seeing. It's actually bad enough not to recommend this galaxy at all. Two thumbs down, in my honest opinion. Dude, calm down. Beta. I'm sure they'll eventually let you install different folders. And also, what gamers don't have decent space on their C drives in 2020? Come on, man. It's almost as bad as using Linux. Stop. Get help. Call a number on the screen now. So by the end of this video, you're going to know how to search and add integrations. Go through some of the settings and options that are available. Search for games you own and on what platforms. Advanced bookmark stuff such as adding your own collections and you know adding in games that aren't supported in the system just yet. And doing some other cool things. Okay guys, so we're in God Galaxy. We're we'll open here as you see. But to add integrations first and foremost, let's start with that. You go to the settings cog here. Cog wheel, I'm going to call it that big sentence and you'll see a list of the stuff that you've got now I've got a whole bunch of stuff already as you can see these are official integrations these are like third party stuff that is created by a github the github system you can get into that if you want to I don't know but that's how they do it for the separate ones it will work pretty well for the most part um you're looking for something basically you just type in here what you're looking for and it shows what's available under those letters. You can see Uplay, which is now you connect, but you know, I'm sure it'll update as necessary when time comes, it still works, it's the main thing. PlayStation Network, I've already got connected. In this case, I'm gonna show you how to add Steam. Even though, you know, I've already got connected. You can't remove, like remove, remove things in this beta so far. It just kind of stays there, it's unconnected. That doesn't matter, that's neither here nor there. I've counted about 16 integrations altogether available at the time of recording. This is a 2.0. 2, 3, 4 beta. Let's do it. Connect. I'm going to show you what you're about to expose to the program. If you're happy with that, then you can do connect. And you're going to put your username and your password. No need for you to see that for obvious legal reasons. Username and password entered is asking me for my uh, Steam Guard code thing. If you've got that setting on your account, that's what you're going to need to do. No problem there. And it should be done. You're going to see it pop up just here, Steam, and it will pop up here as well. I think once it's fully connected, if there's any friends online on that particular platform. There you go, that's how you add integrations. It's the same principle for all of them, both in the process, pretty easy. Next, I'm going to show you how to search for particular games and such. Next up, I'm going to show you how to search uh, God Galaxy 2 to see if you have own a game and uh, what platforms you own them on. So you hit the search, as you just saw there, and you can see I've already typed something to test out for you guys to make sure I can give it to you quickly. In this case, I happen to know Resident Evil HD Remaster, I have it on at least two platforms, being apparently the Xbox, I don't remember having it on there. I actually have it on the PlayStation as well, as odd. But it's showing as uh, Xbox and um, Steam, so I'm going to show you here. If I click into this here, you'll see that Xbox is the dominant one at the moment for whatever reason. You can see here I've got all my uh, activity from it looks like Steam and um, I don't know why it's, I don't ever remember playing it on Xbox but anyway if you click this little diamond double diamond icon here this will show you the versions that you actually own it on if I click that 
I can make it the Steam version. And then I can see us post Steam specific things. I don't have any data for the Xbox version, but as you see, that's how it works right there. So I can see that instantly that I own it on two platforms. Um, I'm trying to think of another game as an example. I've got multiple platforms to illustrate this a little bit further. And you can see Control here, I got it on Steam. I recently finished that one, the playthroughs on the channel, a little plug. All the achievements that we've got on different days here, but I can select here, and you can see I also had it once upon a time on Epic. The wonderful Epic store that everyone loves. It doesn't have any achievements or any data to show, but it's the same principle as you can see. So it's uh, pretty nifty. It works very well and it will prevent you buying games multiple times onto places by accident, as I've almost done on a few occasions with all these platforms now. I was meant to quickly go through some of the settings and stuff, I don't think I did that. Yeah, so apart from obviously integrations, you have things like features here. You can decide when things close or not. When you uh, run them, we've got Galaxy, which is handy if you want the application to close after the fact. Maybe if you're trying to conserve memory like some comments have shown previous. Um, with Xbox Live, you do need to, currently doesn't do detect automatically, so you do need to select what version of pass you have. And if you want it to include Xbox Live Gold, I'm not sure if that's just Xbox Live Gold on games. Maybe it is. Maybe I should take that. Anyway, you can do that. General has a bunch of stuff here. There's a button also to submit bugs. So people are saying about different things or things that you want, like Linux or whatever. That's the place to do it. Set where it uh, starts and what have you. The friends bar. You can hide this as need be. Um, notifications. Set whether they make sounds uh, or not, and the volume of said sounds where it pops up on the screen or not. So an update inside where your games installation folder is going to be, and uh, whether bonuses get saved in a specific folder. And um, we've got a couple of languages here, quite a few, as you see. You can also roll or stop downloads during gameplay. Which is a good idea if you can like stream games and stuff. Sometimes that can throttle your uh, make your stuff lag and give you buffering just a heads up and you have features as well that you can turn off so you can make it as much like steam or as little as steam as you want it's up to you next up i'm going to show you how to use these bookmarks and make these niftier things that i've done all right let's show you how to do some pro customization stuff i've got galaxy 2 here so you can see i've got a few things here some of these are automatically created by god some of them are custom uh, you can rename stuff. This was named PlayStation automatically. I renamed it to PlayStation 4 because it only has PlayStation 4 games in here, as you can see, my library. Um, also, special shout out to GOG for actually making the back and forward buttons work. That's, that's pretty nice as well. I appreciate that. So, if you uh, want to, for instance, if you have, if you add Uplay, you'll get something that looks like this, which shows you Uplay on games. Um, and there's a thing here that's the filter or I'm calling it the filter, it looks like a filter in a way. You click that, it shows you how things are done, how they're making these things. So in this case it shows a platform is selected, you play, and the status is owned. I think I own maybe a little bit more than that, maybe I don't. Anyway, so yeah. And if you want to show subscriptions for instance now, say you have a, is it you connect now, you connect plus or Ubisoft plus, if you have Ubisoft plus which is formerly you play plus, you can do this and I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to delete this, I'm going to go into Uplay here, I hope I get this right because I haven't done it in a minute. So you can see that we've got Uplay, or you can do it, yeah do it this way. Select it, and what you're going to do is you're going to leave the Uplay on obviously, go to status, you're going to take off owned, and you're going to add subscriptions only, okay, and that literally makes your subscription version but it doesn't just kind of show only things that you own this is just the things that's in UB Connect, and then you hit the button up bookmark button and then here you go you play from subscriptions and you can move it by this dragon you can put it right next to you play if you want to I can see here there's a lot of games I own without the subscriptions these are subscription only games and it's the same ideology with uh, you know, if you wanted to create like I've created here, GOG installed, I think I created this. And it's not complicated again, same principle. You can see here we've got GOG.com selected and we set the status as owned and installed. GOG.com itself on its own is actually only shown installed. Is that what's going on there? 
That's weird. Is it only showing that? I've got more games than that, damn it. <laughs> Alright. There we go. That kind of fixed it. Remember, it is beta. So, yeah. That's just showing all the games on. Just going into this particular one, changing the settings in here, and then bookmarking it creates this version, which has just literally got installed checked as well. Okay? Easy. Easy PZO. Xbox from subscription, the same principle. I did that with just an Xbox and then changing the stats to subscriptions and same principle for Steam installed and so forth and so on. Last thing I want to show you, at least I believe it's the last thing on the list, is how to create a custom bookmark list altogether. Let's see if I remember this now. So I'm going to delete this bookmark. I'm going to show you this. So let's say you've got a PlayStation 3 like I do and you want to list your games. There's probably not going to ever be an official integration for that. What you do is you go search here. Think of the game that you own on the PlayStation 3. Demon's Souls, for instance, which happens to be remade, remastered in the next few days on PlayStation 5, which I don't possess because, you know, money and stuff. Uh, you can see it comes up with a list of Demon's Souls here. This is 2021 I was talking about just now. Uh, and there's other versions, apparently. Black Phantom Edition sounds evil. So I'm going to select this one. I've done some work on this already, but I'll show you. And you can see here this tag, okay? So if I remember rightly, I'm trying to remember now, is it, you click this thing here, I don't know what to call it, click edit, I believe. You scroll down and you put in a tag. If you wanted to do, just do Souls games, you could put a tag in that says Souls games. Okay, just for, just for example's sake, PS3 and so forth. All right, then you hit okay. Now with this, what you then do is you bookmark it. Okay. I hope I'm doing this right. Select it in your uh, bookmark. And I think I've done it wrong. You then go to your search, type in the tag, PS3 in this case. And yes, I did have to make a card because I kind of like lost this advanced skill here. Select it and it works. There you go. I had problems. It might be a little bit finicky because it is in beta. I have to like press enter or do it a few times. But here you go, so I've got a whole bunch of games here that have got the PS3 tag in them. And therefore, that's what this uh, search is based on. Obviously, you can select from here as well. Some of these are these other tags are based from Steam, I believe it's taken it from. These are not I, these are not tags I made in here. This is taken from Steam, which is pretty handy. But there you go, PS3. And what you do is you bookmark it. And you can see PS3 now. And you can move that maybe above or beneath the PlayStation 3 and you can see it works just like anything else and um, essentially any game you add to here if I can add another game to show this or illustrate it let's say we add Parasite Eve which is another one I do own uh, select it and, yeah there we go it's working this time I thought it going to be like freaking out so I have to do another cut Market is owned, and then I'm going to go into this thing here, click edit, scroll down, put it PS3, it's going to finish it off for us because it knows what tags available, select it, press OK. Maybe you can do this with like, if you want to do genres, genre tags, you could do it like that as well. I could put horror in there as well if you wanted to, um, you know, whatever you want to put in there and then create as a bookmark. But it's been added in the PS3 tags, so if things are working, remember this is beta, it should be in there now. And there we go, Parasite Eve. That's a strange cover. Anyway, boom. So now you've got your PlayStation 3 list. And remember, you can rename this as well if you want to. Play PlayStation 3. Boom. You can also change the art on this if you don't like it. This art's kind of weird. Go to Edit, Media, and then you can choose a file. We'll drag it into there that says. 660 by 930. There you go, wicked, huh? Now, obviously, it's beta, so uh, I don't know if updates are gonna kind of like reset libraries or anything like that. Um, obviously, removing um, an integration didn't mess up my custom per se, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. The custom one still stayed in place, and yeah, it's pretty wicked, really. So, there you have it, you are now a professional GOG Galaxer made that up 
Now on the screen, there should be two videos that you can select from as well as subscription button. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already, hit the bell, and also check out the previous GOG video that should be on the screen as well as whatever YouTube selected for you. It's pretty smart choosing stuff, so you probably want to click one of those for sure. Thanks for watching.